So I have a couple through holes that are smaller through holes or little three quarter inch diameter through holes that the inside curve of the hole is rounded and they need a flat spot to bed. Normally you'd use a piece of wood, but I don't need the strength of the wood. Since I have the epoxy stuff all out, I'm gonna make a couple discs out of fiberglass and uh, flatten them out. And then after they cured, here I will bed these down inside the hole and that will uh, give me a flat spot to actually bolt them to that's not so thick for my screws that they'll be too long for my screws. So I'm using, the, I'm using this heavy duty uh, biaxial cloth which is this weave on one side and this chop mat on the other side. This doesn't need to be thickened epoxy, it can be just regular epoxy. I'm just going to lay them in a nice flat spot like this on the table. Take my brush. Wet it down really good. It's going to take quite a bit to penetrate this because it's such a thick product. Once I get this side good, I'll flip it over. This stuff definitely soaks up the epoxy. Holy cow. So pretty much translucent, that means it's good to go. I'm just gonna fold this over. Like that. And find something heavy to put on here. Look, kinda cute. wafers. Perfect. These are our air conditioning through holes and I got to bolt them uh, to the hole of the bolt but I made these discs which we showed earlier. So what I'm doing now is I'm trying to figure out where I want my handle to be. So I just rotate this till you know I think the best spot probably for my handle is going to be over here. So I'm going to take my disc because I could have made it bigger it would have been nicer. But I'm going to put it on here and make sure that it's rotated in a place that I actually have three good holes bearing on it. And then I'm going to draw my circle where my through hole is, like that. Flip it over. I'm just going to kind of trace the triangle out. Put an H for handle over here. So now I can take the through hole and line it up on the hole and the light's going to tell me where center is and I'm just going to trace around this. Gives me a rough idea once I put my goop on there. I'll put an H over here for handle. And then when I goop this on with my epoxy, I'll just smush it into place, splooge it on there. I learned that from Uma. Splooge is a nautical term for gobs of thickened epoxy on a backing plate. All right? Thanks, Uma, for that. All right. Make up some epoxy. All right, so I mixed up some epoxy with some colloidal silica. Have a seal and I just mix it up into a kind of a thick paste because I don't want it to go anywhere on its own. Splooged it on there. And now I'm gonna go stick it in the hole. Give it a little snug fit. Okay, I gotta find where my handle goes. 
line it up with my marks down there. All I'm doing is just kind of gently snugging it into place, squeezing it so some of the stuff comes out. Then I know it bedded itself in, in a good way, right in where my marks are. Spread it like caulk around there. Don't want any sharp edges. And there's the first one ready to go. Yay! Let's see if we have enough splooge for number two. Oops. Whoops. <laughs> That's I why believe somebody did that. That's why we have a board down on the floor, right here. That's right. Trying to get all this out that I can here. That's oh, tip, tick, tip, tip for tech tip for today. <laughs> Make sure you got floor coverings down when you're working with epoxy. All right, put this one down. Same thing with this guy. Right here. Line that up. Smoosh it in there. Smoosh. That's a, another good marine word. Smoosh. Smoosh it in. Here, here's another good tip. I think I might have learned this from Uma too. Double glove. And that way you can pull off one pair of gloves like that and have a set underneath them because otherwise your hands get sweaty and you can't put gloves back on. So now I can put a new pair over these and they go on easy. I put those backing plates on that I made out of fiberglass, splooged some thickened epoxy on the bottom, primed the surfaces, smashed it in place. Uh, tomorrow I'll go probably add a little bit of fillet around the sides just to so I don't have any sharp edges and those will be done and ready for me to drill out to mount my through hole to or my my through hole and my seacock to so I have a nice flat surface for the seacock to mount to and that'll be done we can have those silly things taken care of and we can move on to another project oh feels good to have one out of the way doesn't it dear Done yet. Ah! Whilst I'm here, <laughs> please give us a thumbs up on our videos. Please subscribe to our videos and feel free to be a patron as well. We love your support. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. I will answer anything I can. And other than that, see you next time. Tech Todd's Tech Tips Tuesdays. Katie, did Katie fall in the hole? I warned her that there was a hole. Did you move my epoxy thing that I just put in there? I better go find out. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, give us a thumbs up and think about subscribing. We'll see you in our next episode.